Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So lately I've been loving making some t-shirts so I thought I would share how I made them. Heading into Cricut Design Space and clicking on a new project I'm going to show you how I've made my first t-shirt. So this week I need to make a t-shirt for my son's school and I'm going to be using an image for this. So just looking down the left hand side of the Cricut Design Space you will see the images option. Now I need to make an anti-bullying t-shirt so I'm looking for something um, that I can use for this and put onto my t-shirt. So just by typing anti-bullying into the search bar you can see how many options I've got to pick from. Now I am a Cricut Access member so this is a subscription service and it does cost um, but I totally think it's worth it. Um, it was a one-off payment I paid or you can pay monthly and I think it was around about $120. Um, I live in Australia so I definitely think it was worth it especially being new to Cricut. I just wanted everything available to me um, just so it could be an easy click of a button and I have all these options at my fingertips. Okay, so here I have found a really cool image um, saying stop bullying and I'm going to add that to my canvas. All the images always come through quite big so you just need to size them down and you can do that using the sizing options on the top bar there. You can adjust the width to what you'd like and you can also adjust the height. And um, also if you unlock that little padlock there you can put in the precise measurements that you'd like. So when you're happy with the size and the placement on the screen you can start with your image. So I'm going to add an offset to my image. Just up there on the top bar, see offset, and it puts a layer around your image. So you can use that bar there to adjust the size and click apply. And it always comes through as black. Um, so I'm just gonna move that now so I can see my offset layer. And I don't want all these little holes in the offset, so I need to contour them out. So if I click on that offset layer, I can use the contour option which is on the bottom right of the screen there. And then I can have the option to hide all the contours and that will give me just one full cutout piece. Then I'm going to change this colour to white just so I can see it a little bit more clearly. And I'm going to add my image onto the top of it. Um, what you'll need to do here is just centre the image. So if you select them both, um, you can come up to the align button on the top and click center and what I didn't do here was group them group them together so um, I'm gonna have to go through here and do it again there you go see so I'll need to align them again and then click arrange to group them together When you group an image together that just means you can move it as one image. So I have an offset layer and I have the actual image. So pressing group, now I have one image. Now I want to do another little trick with this image. I want to create a sliced layer. So if I select them both and go down to slice option on the bottom right there, this is going to cut out a layer for me. And you will see this by separating all the layers again. So I have one layer there and then another layer here. And then this back layer is actually the one I want to use. So I'm going to get rid of the other two layers just by clicking on them and deleting them. And then that allows me to work with this layer. So first of all, I'm going to change the color of this layer and I can really see what it's going to start to look like. My t-shirt that I'm using is bright orange so I'm hoping that this layer will look really nice on the orange and it will be quite effective to see the orange coming through. So when I'm happy with this I'm going to click make it and make sure I have all of my sizings correct. Okay so here we have the Cricut preview screen. This will show you what your image is going to look like on the mat and how it's going to cut out. So it's really important to check all of these sizings and making sure you have enough vinyl for this mat at this stage. Um, and if not you can go back in and change it. I'm clicking the mirror because I'm doing an iron-on and anything iron-on you need to mirror that image. 
click continue and then it's going to pick up your maker machine and you're going to select your material. Um, I'm going to use everyday iron on for this vinyl because I'm not quite sure how it's going to cut out. Usually I would use smart iron on. Um, so I'm thinking everyday iron on for this cheaper vinyl and hopefully that works. So here is my bright orange shirt. It does already have a logo on the front. So I'm going to add this image to the back. And I thought that would look really effective with the orange coming through it. So making sure I've got my heat press mat and making sure I'm brayering down that vinyl onto my mat. Anything iron on, you need to put shiny side down and just really make sure that it's stuck onto your mat. And that tool there is called a brayer tool and it really does help for your Cricut to cut it out nicely, making sure that there's no air bubbles and it's firmly down onto the mat. And then once your Cricut machine has put it all out, you can take the vinyl from the mat. So when your Cricut machine has finished cooking, put in, <laughs> cooking, um, you can peel the mat away from the vinyl and then you can start to weed out everything that you don't want on your design. So you can see that I'm just getting rid of the excess around the edge and then I'm going to go through and just weed out all the things I don't want to be ironed onto my t-shirt. So I'm taking out the middle letters. Hopefully I can get a better view for you there. I really love weeding. It's quite therapeutic and um, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking as well <laughs> during this voiceover. Yeah, iron on always really weeds quite easily. So I'm just checking there that I've got everything weeded out correctly and I still need to do the hand. So I'm just doing that now and then I'll be ready to put my design onto my t-shirt. It's always really important to just double check your design from the other side of it so you can make sure you've weeded out all the parts you don't need. Now I'm just gonna go through and just place the design on the t-shirt and just making sure that I've got it in the right spot. So I warmed up my Cricut heat press and I think I'm doing 155 degrees centigrade for 30 seconds. You can find out all of this off the Cricut heat guide um, on Google or it is actually on the Cricut design space too. I've just preheated my t-shirt for five seconds and then I'm just going to go ahead and place my image in a spot that I feel happy with and then apply the heat press for 30 seconds firm pressure. Now I don't usually use any um, parchment paper but I am going to do this with this particular vinyl because I've never used it before. Sorry I did just speed that up then but that was 30 seconds. So now it is a cool peel, I need to wait for it to cool down. Okay, so when your t-shirt has cooled down, I'm just checking it there, you can pull off that protective liner. Sometimes it can be a little bit tough and it also may need a little bit more heat. You can just kind of judge it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it from the other side there. Just being confident, short, sharp um, pulls of the liner and then it should come off. I always do like to go back over um, with a little bit of parchment paper and just make sure that that design is fully on the t-shirt. So I'll show you that in a second. When I've pulled off the liner, I'll just add some parchment paper and just heat it up again for maybe five, 10 seconds. And that will ensure that the design is really into the t-shirt. You can also do it from the other side as well. And here we have my stock bullying t-shirt. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Okay, and here we are moving on to the next t-shirt. So we're gonna keep on the theme of nice sayings and I really wanna create a be kind t-shirt. I've got this beautiful pink t-shirt that I bought and I thought that um, something saying be kind would look really nice and yeah, just looking through Cricut Design Space again and seeing what was available, I did come up with this really cool Be Kind template that was already there and I thought that it really looked like the Barbie kind of style. 
and I thought if I did this in black it would look really nice um, coming through on the pink t-shirt so this is what I'm going to try to do. So I found this design um, using the Cricut Access subscription, added it to my canvas and just worked on the sizing to make sure it would fit onto my t-shirt. I did play around with you know slanting it a little bit to kind of resemble the Barbie style but um, in the end I didn't do that I just thought it looked better straight but this is such a cool style and it just is so nice to have all of these extra images at your fingertips so clicking make it checking I've got everything right on my mat before I heat it up and remembering the most important part to mirror your image if you don't mirror your image it's going to not print out the right way and then it, it will be a, a waste of vinyl because it won't read right and yeah, this this t-shirt literally took me five, ten minutes because the design was already available. Um, I literally just had to click it, size it, make sure everything was right with my t-shirt and yeah, cut it out in the machine. Here we have the pink t-shirt. It looks quite dark on here, but it is quite a bright, a bright pink. And I thought with the black vinyl, that's going to look really nice. I'm using Smart Iron On Black Vinyl on a green Cricut mat. And just remembering to put your... HDV or heat transfer vinyl shiny side down into your Cricut machine and let the Cricut machine do the work. I always get so wowed by the Cricut machine of how fast it cuts things out. This whole cut was maybe a minute at the most um, and then I absolutely love the weeding part as well which is next. So here we have the design finished. I'm checking that it's all cut out. I can just about see it there. And yeah, sometimes I keep the vinyl on the mat before I weed it out. It just helps with um, making sure you get all the different parts through. Using my weeding tool there to just make sure I've got all the little pieces out that I don't want on my t-shirt. And there we have our next design for our t-shirt. I thought that came out really nice. So now I'm going to place it on the t-shirt, just making sure I've got it in the right space. Um, you can get t-shirt templates, but I just like to eyeball it. Um, just making sure it's kind of in the center. And then heating up the t-shirt with my Cricut Easy Press. Again, I got the... Um, information for how hot it needs to be off the guidelines from Cricut Design Space. It's really easy to use and because this is smart vinyl I'm quite confident that I don't need any parchment paper for the liner so I'm heating it up 30 seconds on a um, firm hold for 155 degrees centigrade and then again a cool peel and um, you can see that that liner came off a lot easier than the other stuff. <laughs> So again, I'm probably just going to go over and heat it. And because it doesn't have the liner, I will put the parchment paper and just give it five, 10 seconds just to make sure that that vinyl is fully on there. It's such a simple process and I'm really loving making t-shirts. It's so cool to be able to make like any kind of design on a t-shirt. It is important to remember though to make sure you do have um, the correct licenses um, if you are going to sell these t-shirts. I'm not selling any of my t-shirts, they're just for personal use, so I'm just having fun with designs at the minute, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And here I am moving on to my next design guys. I've got a really cool green t-shirt for this one and I really wanted to put a camera logo on there. So again, just searching up in Cricut Design Space what was available. There were so many images available, but a lot of them were a print and cut feature, uh, which is where you can print them out and you could use them for stickers. Um, but I did find this really cool one here that was a cut feature. So I thought that was cool and added it to my canvas. Again, just making sure I changed the sizing to the requirements of how it would look on the t-shirt. 
and you can just use those little size boxes there. I did just play around with the sizing a little bit. Um, I'm working in centimeters this whole um, tutorial, uh, but you can change yours to inches um, just in your settings there. So when you're happy with the design and the placement, again, click make it, click on a mat, and yeah, there you have your preview. Again, please remember to mirror your design and making sure that you've got all your measurements correct and put it through to your Cricut machine. We can continue. And I did use Smart Iron On Vinyl for this one. I've got a really cool silver, which I felt would look quite effective um, on the green. Clicking make it and loading it into the Cricut. So I did have some white vinyl there because I was undecided whether I was going to use silver or white, but I did go ahead with the silver. Making sure I'll, I've got the right spacing um, on my t-shirt and just checking again the vinyl colors. Yeah, I definitely went with the silver. So putting the vinyl shiny side down onto the mat and making sure that you have it to the right size. You can cut off the excess of this, but also smart vinyl, you don't really need to use a mat. I just prefer to, and especially with the Maker 3, um, I just feel a lot more confident putting it on a mat. I don't know why. I should just trust the process. And there it is going through to my Maker machine. Now this was a really cut, um, intricate design and um, I didn't realize how intricate it was and it was quite clear when it was time for weeding um, it did take about five minutes to cut out because there was heaps of tiny little parts to it so um, once that's cut out I did find the weeding quite um, it was quite hard like you really needed like good light to see all the little tiny bits but I just kept going back over and checking it and like I said before weeding can be so relaxing so just take your time with it and I really loved how this design came out so I'm so glad that I did it and I definitely do it again So now I'm just going back through and checking that I've weeded out everything I need and it's ready to put on the t-shirt. Now something I didn't show you before guys is it's really cool to um, lint roller your t-shirts before you add a design. This is just going to make sure you don't have any extra pieces of fabric um, under your design and just gives a nice clean surface. So there you are, you're ready to preheat your t-shirt and look at the placement. And I just thought that that design looked really cool there. Again, it's a 100% cotton t-shirt, so I'm just applying this heat press for 30 seconds at 155 degrees centigrade. And I got those regulations from the Cricut Heat Guide. I'm doing everything I can to cool down my vinyl here because I'm so impatient waiting for it to cool down. Um, but this one just came off so easily, it was really good. And I absolutely loved how it turned out. Again, just making sure that the transfer was completely on there and just by adding a little bit more heat. And I'm so happy with how this one turned out. I absolutely love the colour and I love the camera picture. Oh, 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 oh. 
And here we have my next t-shirt. Now I've been really loving Pilates lately, so I thought I would make a cool little t-shirt for this. Um, I had a white singlet, which is just a vest top, and I thought I could make a nice little Pilates um, image. So I got this Pilates image just from the Cricut Design Space, and there's a um, Cricut Access. Um, I, there is another one on the page there, that little black one, but I really didn't like the way that that one looked. So I do get rid of that one. You can just hide anything you don't want to see on there by just clicking that little eye icon. So I have my image and then I just wrote Pilates era underneath and I'm using the warp feature to curl this um, text. And I think I use the Lateria Pro text for this Pilates era writing. So now I'm just going through and making sure that I've got it all selected to how I want it. I'm aligning it and making sure the size is correct for my t-shirt. I picked up some really nice like pastel colour vinyl so I really liked this purple and I think I changed the text to like a pink colour. When you're happy with your design you can select them both and attach them together. When they're attached, you can make it. And again, go through the process. I'm doing it on a mat, and you will see all of these come through. Now, because they're different colors, they will come through on different mats. Making sure I've got that image mirrored and letting my machine cut them out. The same with the Pilates era. I always just move it down off that edge there because I always get a little bit scared in case the Cricut machine doesn't cut correctly and um, it cuts off the vinyl. If this does happen to your Cricut machine, you can calibrate your machine. You just need to follow the design through, um, follow the prompts through the settings. Okay, so I have my images cut out and here I'm just showing you how the Cricut Heat Press guide looks. This is just on my phone, but it is also on um, Cricut Design Space. So it's just telling me there what kind of material I have for my t-shirt or what I'm ironing onto, what vinyl I have, and it will tell me specifically how long to hold the heat on the vinyl and if it's a cool peel or cold peel. Here I'm just finding the centre of my singlet just to make sure that the design is nice and centred. So that's a good little hack there just by creating a nice little crease. And you can also do the same with the vinyl if you fold it, it won't come through onto your design. So I'm just making sure that the placement is right there. Okay, I'm just folding it there just to make sure I've got the center of the writing. And because I'm ironing it on together, heating it on together, I'm just making sure that those liner, protective liners on the vinyl aren't touching. And I've just heated the back there and this is how this one turned out. Such a nice little simple design and I love the colors of it. Cricut really has some nice color vinyls. Um, I really want to practice with lots of other vinyls so I'm just kind of finding my confidence with these vinyls first but I will move on to them. So I was really happy with how this one turned out. Now I'm going to move on to my last t-shirt which is a Barbie inspired t-shirt. Me and my friend went to watch the film so I thought I would make us a cute little t-shirt. Now I just found this Barbie head online just from Google. I'm not selling these t-shirts so I just saved this to my computer and I used the Barbie head image there. Added it to my canvas and I had an idea where I could use this silhouette to um, create three rows using different color vinyls. So here I am just making sure that all the sizing is correct for these to look nice on the t-shirt. So when I'm happy with the three there, I'm just aligning them. 
align vertically and then I can select them all and I think I attached them together yeah and then I can go ahead and make it now I haven't selected a color on this because I'm just going to go ahead and use the same design with three different color vinyls so making sure that I mirror that image and how it looks on my preview map I can just go ahead then and here I am putting them out on all the different vinyls so I did a really cool purple like a lilac purple this is how this one turned out and then I also did a really cool pastel pink. This was in a pack all together, um, just everyday iron on, and it was a really nice pastel pack. So I just got this. So I have the lilac and the pink, and then I did buy this sparkly pink holographic vinyl separately, but it just was so special. And I thought that, that would look really nice on a Barbie inspired t-shirt. I just couldn't not do something Barbie with this sparkly pink. So this is how these ones turned out. I really love these. And then I'm just gonna go through and arrange them on my t-shirt now. Making sure that I've got them in the right space. And then I can go through and heat them. Now just to add in the last layer of the vinyl and when I'm heating it I'm just really making sure that I'm not touching the vinyl that I've already heated with the heat press. Um, it was quite easy to do this because I did do it in layers but also double check the temperatures for the holographic because it was different to the normal everyday iron on. But I'm so happy with how this t-shirt turned out. I loved wearing it to the Barbie movie and I'm just really loving making t-shirts at the moment so I'm really happy with just trying out different designs that are on Cricut Design Space at the moment and then also just thinking of anything that comes to mind that I'd like to print on a t-shirt. Here's all my t-shirts that I've made. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope, full, hope it was helpful to you and I will see you again for another video soon. Bye guys!